Welcome back to the OCBC Arena Centre Court as Singapore take on Sri Lanka. This is rubber two as Harsha Godamana is up against Steve Ng. Singapore one up already in this tie. Harsha to get us going. Darren Ho with me as always. And Darren, this is the first left-hander we've uh, seen here on Centre Court in the last couple of days. And also a very high-ranked player. And you can tell that he uses that serve to great advantage. And when he played Lee Hong Nam in on, the f on day one, clocked amazing six aces. So that serve is definitely a weapon. It's a huge serve. It's very accurate. And you know the thing about playing a left about playing a left hander is that the spin's always a little bit different from playing someone else who's also right, who's from playing another righty. So I think Steve is going to get his work cut out for him today. Um, and Godamana is just going to go out there and do what he always does. I mean, he pulled Hong Nam into three sets. Really good performance. And his first serve percentage is really, really high. So that's something to watch out for. Stark contrast to his uh, teammate. That was long. Uh, let's not forget, he's also uh, ATP ranked as well. Uh, yeah, exactly. So he was ranked just a couple of years back. I think he's come off a little bit. He's come off the boil a little bit in the circuit. But take nothing away from this man. He's a quality player. And you can tell in the previous point how he sets up the shot with his with his beautiful singer at the back end, opens up the court. And that's what he's going to be doing all day. Good scrambling by Steve that point. I think Godomana would have felt that he would have done a lot better with that forehand. Yeah, you can see he's a good player, Harshana, and he's won that first game. Steve Ng was up against Huang yesterday, a very good player as well. And as you mentioned, Huang and Godamana really gave each other a great battle. That's right, absolutely, and you can and you can see why. I mean, he's got very big ground strokes. This one right here goes through the court, zips through the court, and this one no chance. And you need to understand that the courts at in the OCBC arena are slightly slow. But even then, look at the racket hit acceleration that Godamana puts on his forehand and that really went through the court and deadly accurate on both wings. Well played. He's going to have his work cut out for him today, Steve. Um. I think Steve is going to find that his shot selection today is going to be really important. I mean, he picked that shot and he kind of bunted it back to Godomana. And Godomana is not going to give you anything. So I think Steve is going to find that he needs to make really smart shot selection today.
Just look at how deep he hits that ball, Shazad. I mean, that Steve didn't even have time to recover, and that's that's what I'm talking about. On both his wings, he's able to get that kind of depth, that kind of pace. And it's not all about pace. I mean, the shot prior to that, he opened up the court really well the, with the cross court forehand. So Steve is going to really have his work cut out for him today. Great passing shot. Brilliant. That's a delightful passing shot. Didn't have much to aim at. Facing those break points. problems here already early on for Steven. That's the singer the backhand I was talking about Shazad. Look at how nicely he sets himself up. The technique on that backhand. Look at how fast he accelerates his racket through the ball. Such a confident shot. S started these first two games in a blitz really. Almost flawless performance by Godamana Shazad. I mean, it's first of a percentage, racking up the points. Look at that. And that's what happens when you get your first subs in. And that's well, he's racing through this at the moment, isn't he? Using that serve really effectively. I mean, he's able to put it everywhere down the center, out wide, and all with pace. The, the difference here, Harshana Godamana is, is ranked well below Huang. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, Huang. And yet, and Steve was actually able to take the match or take the game to his opponent yesterday. He's not able to do that here today. I think it's very contrasting styles. I mean, Godaman is obviously the kind of player that's going to go for his shots. And if you look at Huang yesterday, Huang is a bit of a counter puncher. And he, he gives you his opportunities, but he's fast and he knows when to pick his points. Godaman is, he's, he's going to go for his shots. I mean, he obviously makes his own points and he's not going to give you anything. And if, if you looked at the previous few points on Steve Surf, it was it was quite evident that Godamana is going out there and he's going to and he's going to go for it. He's not waiting for someone to make a mistake. That's the difference. He's he's that kind of player, he's gonna create his own fate. And I think he's used that really well. I mean, these first three games have really gone by in a flash. It's quite impressive. Yeah, it's really coming to a point here, Steve Vung has got to do something in this service game or Hashamana, Hashana, sorry, will uh, run away with it.
Steve Young needs uh, more of that. Too few and far between at the moment. Brilliantly done by Hashana. I think it was that return that let Steve down. It was a good idea. I mean, he's taking the game to go to mana. He's making him think a little bit. But execution on the lob, and you can tell it's a shot that he's practiced. Very confident. That's one of his weapons, isn't it, for Steve? Uh, great serve from him. Nice and deep, he needed that game. Steve um, on the board at last. You know, and you know, sometimes that makes a big difference. Get your opponent thinking a little bit. I think he played a really good game. And I just can't help but notice that Hashana is just not as fast as Hong Nam. And that, that was evident when they played each other as well. I mean, Hong Nam is a really fast player and he's all over the place. Hashana tends to drag his feet a little bit, but he hits really big. So Steve needs to find a way to, to exploit that. I mean, every player's got a weakness, and it's just really how fast you spot that as, as, as the player opposite you. And if he can do that, and use that to his advantage, then he might have a chance. That is a brilliant return of serve from Steven. First serves in a row, not in. Excellent passing shot, and by the way, it, that first serve earlier was overruled, it was in in the end. I think we're starting to see the game open up a little bit, a, a bit more now. Steve has settled in. Really good footwork. This is a good shot. A bit, a bit lucky, but this one you can't take anything away from him. Hashana will be thinking he should cover his lines a little bit, but you can't really do anything. That was a really good passing shot. That's the advantage of being a reliable first serve. I mean, you get a lot of these three points. 15-30 down, comes up a nice big boomer. That's a great serve by Ashana. A lot of variation on it, so really hard to read. Yep, that's going to be tough, isn't it? When he does get that serve in. And that's that left-handed spin I was talking about. It's always difficult to play against. I mean, majority of players are right-handed. And when you play the left-handed player, the spin's always a little bit different. And Steve needs to, he needs to make these little adjustments to his feet. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to bounce differently. The court's slow, so that might work in his favour. Because the serve slows down a little bit. Take, that, take nothing away from Hashana. That's a really aggressive serve that he has. And that last one... On screen, it looks really slow, but when on court, it was zipping through the court really fast and it's really, really consistent on his serve. 76%, that's exactly what he needs. And he looks confident. Four one up. Remember, Singapore did win the first rubber, which means Ashana 
with a good opportunity here to make it one all still plenty in this match still though he is in a commanding position at the moment and this is something that uh, both Darren and I discussed earlier that it could well come down to the doubles unless Steve Ung can continue his mini revival Brilliant rally, wonderful winner as well, but beautiful disguise on that drop shot. It's just too good, I mean, you can't read this, there's no way you can read this. Good scrambling by Steve, good hands by Hashana, really good hands. And this smash set it all up, and this forehand with authority. This is his weapon, Steve Oak, one of his big assets, and it's beginning to show. But it's just a bit concerning that his first serve's in, not great at the moment. There you go. It's just hitting about 50% shortly. Bit of pressure, I think. I think he knows he needs to make those first serves. Sashana is going to jump all over the second one. That's really brave play by Steve and I think he know he needs to do more of that today. I think that the big takeaway that Daniel would have told him from, from his match against Hong Nam yesterday is to take a bit more of a chance, come in. I mean, you've got nothing to lose. These are accomplished opponents. Come in, cut off the angle and that paid dividends. That was a good volley, good hands. Well, important that he got that second game in. We said that was pivotal for him to stay in this set. He needs a break somewhere, Darren. Can and he get it? It's tough. And you know, I'm I'm just, I'm just analyzing the match, and I'm looking at looking back on what um, Hashana did when he played when he played Hong Nam, and and these were the little things that played Hashana as well. I mean, he was making these unforced errors, and you saw it there. I mean, he he doesn't really hang in the rally very well. Uh, the difference between him and Hong Nam's and Hong Nam really plays those shots really well. So maybe Steve might want to consider that and pull him to a, into a longer rally. That's just a, a, an awesome serve, really. And he's serving at a very high percentage as well, first serves. on the line 
The racket hit speed on that forehand is incredible by Hoshana. Look at this. Look at how fast he swings. This one right here. Look at he plants his feet. That's not playable. at the moment for Hashanah in this service game. This to make it 5-2. And so it is. In the driving seat, Hashana Godamana. Steve Ong now. Pressure's on him. So if you look at that serve that Hashana has, one motion and he can go anywhere on court with it. I think that's what Steve is struggling with. I think he disguises the serve really well. If you look at how he takes back the racket and how he conceals the racket face from his opponent, that makes it really difficult. And the Sri Lankan captain is happy. I mean, he served well, 71%. With a serve of that caliber, that's a really high percentage. And it's making things really difficult for Steve. I mean, he's holding his serve relatively easy at love. And Steve, is, and Steve needs to work really hard to hold his. So I, I just feel that maybe Steve needs to dig a little bit deeper and wait for his opportunity. I mean, eventually that serve will have to come off the boil. And when it does, then you need to stretch those rallies because Sashana doesn't like those long rallies. And um, that, that, that will, you know, if, if that happens, that will, that will make for an interesting match. And you're watching the live stream on Hub Tennis brought to you by the Singapore Tennis Association and Sport Singapore. For more live stream and Davis Cup action and everything in related to tennis in Singapore, please go to hub.tennis. Yeah, lots on that microsite for you. Trivia, history of the competition, profiles of players. Oh, did that just say in? It was right on the very edge of the line and a brilliant a shot. Yes. Exceptional. That's out of this world. Look at this. Steve at this point all the way, all the way, even with this. Look at that forehand. It's not playable. The other thing of concern at the moment for Steve is his first serves are beginning to falter. Going in, the, p the rate is low. It's almost 50%. Important points here for the Singaporean. I don't think Hashana will want to have to serve out the set. I think he will want to break Steve's serve so that he can serve in the second set.
the sheer power of that forehand won him that point. He generates so much pace off that side. Look at how fast he swings through the his racket goes through the ball. Look at this. He's got pressure here. Steve Ong facing break point. More importantly, set point. That's a good serve. And the thing about Hashana is that he's putting Steve under a lot of pressure. Steve knows that if he gives him anything that's short, anything that goes to that forehand, he's going to be scrambling and running after, after a possible passing shot. That's more like it from Steve Ong. When he does get that first serve in, which isn't a lot at the moment, it is extremely effective. And I like what he did here. I mean... He's not hitting through. Put a lot of top spin on that shot. And that looks that seems to be a little bit uncomfortable for Hashana. What a brilliant Didn't passing shot that was. Approach shot. Sorry, Shazad. Effortless, wasn't it? From Hashana. This one needs to do a little uh, he'll be disappointed by that. And you can see he's just signaling that the spin's a little bit different. It's going the other way. And this always puts players off when you play a, a left-handed player. That's why Federer doesn't like to play Nadal. Beautiful. When he's in full flow, he is very good to watch. Hashana Godamana. That's exactly what's just been told to him. Appreciation for it. And again, it's not always about that big first serve. You, if you looked at his his serving percentage, he's more he's more content in keeping the first serve percentage high. He knows that Steve is, is going to find it difficult to attack that first serve. And he goes for a much higher percentage first serve. And sometimes he applies that big banger. And I think that's important. I mean, it shows variety in. In, in, in Hashana, it shows that he has the presence of mind to change strategies. And this is where it gets really difficult for Steve because you're playing against a player who, who is very aware of what his strengths are and he knows how to play to play these important points. And I think this is where Steve will need to dig even deeper. I mean, I know I've said it a lot of times and I, it's easy to say it, but I think this is where Steve will really need to capitalize on those little opportunities at 15.30, try his best, create something for himself. But take nothing away from Hashana. He's playing a brilliant game today. I wonder whether Steve was just taken aback by the sheer lack of pace in that return. It was very uncharacteristic. As in the return? It yeah. was very unchar un uncharacteristic of the return. I thought he would have hit it, but he slowed it down. You meant to do that, right? Well, it looked like it. Was he taken by surprise? 
Whatever it was, it worked. You know what I really appreciate about Hashana is that he doesn't only hit big, he's got really good hands. And his doubles record is quite good as well. These are really good hands. Look at that slice, really nice. The shot application today has been impeccable. That was, that was one there for the taking. And those are the ones that he needs to make. Three break points now, early on in the second set. Good play by Steve. Dragging out the rally and making Hashana work for it. Really good hitting. Do you know what I like about Hashara Gonamana? He is, he fights for every single point. He works really hard and it means a lot to him. Every point, he scraps. And you, you also need to admire how he, he creates the point. He builds the point. He's not just going out there and bolting everything. He creates that space. And I think that, that last shot showed how, how much court craft he has, how, how much finesse he has. And he knows exactly when to apply the pressure. Really well played. That was good, important for Steve. Especially on Hashanah's serve. That serve has just gotten bigger and bigger as the match has gone on, it's incredible. Good play by Hashana. Hitting, coming in, setting up for himself, keeping the ball nice and deep, putting tons of pressure on Steve.
was tight. And it's gone against Steve Ung, and he's in uh, real trouble. No, that's why. That's just why. And again, you look at how Hashana hits that forehand. So much pace on the racket. Look at how fast he swings through the ball. That racket hit speed is something else. It's really, really hard to take. So major decisions to be made because both these players will be involved in doubles uh, right after this rubber. That will decide and I don't want to jump the gun too much, but I think the writing's on the wall here, Darren, about this match. Just the way it's going, let's be honest. Hasha, Hashana is is going to win this and win it handsomely. And then they, they'll be facing each other again in doubles very shortly. Absolutely. I mean, of, of course, it might be too early to predict that in tennis anything could happen. But at the rate it's going now, it doesn't. It, it really looks like Hashana has this under his belt. I mean, he's playing confident, he's playing good. And he, he looks he looks like he's really on on the ascendancy serving well receiving re returning well um, yeah and, and so they're gonna play each other in doubles and that will be interesting to watch because doubles is more of a team effort than individual effort so we'll see I think uh, Hashana felt that that was out earlier. Not that it's going to matter too much. You just can't help but admire the, the sheer power from Hashana. Love his ground strokes. And again, that forehand, that's the one that caused Hong Nam all sorts of trouble when he played him on the first day. And you can understand why. Look at how much depth and how early he takes that shot. And there's not much you can do. I mean, all you can do is get it back and hope that he makes a mistake. But that's a really, really good forehand. That's a really big shot. Couple of good points here for Steve Ong. Can he just put a nice run together? Close out this game. Looking good. Is there something to be said for momentum for you? Even if he's going to lose this, gets a couple of positive moments. Can you bring that to the doubles? Abs absolutely. I mean, uh, he's he's he's. He's not playing badly. No, he is. Right, he's, he's just being overpowered by he's a very, very good opponent. A very good opponent, exactly. And Hashana has really come here and he's played, at, at the, I think, the match of the tournament so far. And I think Steve, Steve should take a, a lot away from this into the doubles. I mean, if he can play the way he's playing, and we saw from yesterday during the doubles, he played even better, then I think Singapore stand a fair chance. I'm really looking forward to that match. Rubber three. Do stay with us for our live telecast of this match. <laughs> so he's got his first game on the board here in the second set. Has that Mark to turn around, or is it just delaying the inevitable? And that's that's what I'm talking about. You want to look for these little points. I mean, that forehand came off the boil a little bit. 
I don't know whether that's going to stick or maybe it's just one of those unforced errors that he makes. We'll see. This game This game has now become a little bit important. Let's see how well Hashana holds up. There's just uh, very little you can do with something as good as that. Those are two unreturnable serves, unplayable. And I tell you what, someone who serves with such power, it's the precision that I'm impressed with. 77% of his first serves in. went for that second serve and why not I mean he looks confident he, he should go for it and that's a really good serve uh, that's a really good attempt by Hashana 40-30 and I think Steve should look for the slider out here the slider out wide that's been his favourite serve on this side of the court it's a natural angle for the left for the lefty and I'm actually right Good serve by Hashana. 4 1. 4 1 up. Looking good here, Hashana. And it's almost there for the Sri Lankan. Meanwhile, we can tell you the other tie in this group in Pool A. And uh, Kuwait have just lost their second rubber. So Kuwait, sorry, uh, Vietnam are two up there with the doubles to happen shortly. Uh, but they've had a bit of a, a manpower, personnel issue perhaps. They're not using necessarily their strongest players in the uh, singles. And uh, Vietnam are going to use Lee Hong Nam now in the uh, doubles, which means they're looking for straight to win by straight matches three win by three uh, Darren yeah I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that Hong Nam is going to play doubles it means that they want to get the full three points out of this tie that will clearly put them um, on top of the group I think one, one, one thing they mentioned is that they don't want to play they don't want to that they don't want to face a chance of coming second and having to play whoever's the top seed in the other group um, but from the standings from the standings it they looks already like finished top they anyway. already finished top yeah. anyway so this is a bit of a strange one from Vietnam. Well, uh, double fault, not a good way to start. That's his first of the match. That just gives you a glimpse of um, the potential that Steve has. I mean, 
in full flow, he's he's able to give problems to any top player, and that that's that's a really good point. Well crafted, very brave. Came in, drive volley, set it up, and finish with a plum. That's a good overhead. Well done. This is more authoritative from Steve Ung. Haven't seen enough of this perhaps in this match. rushed it he had the whole court to himself he rushed it but that just shows you that Steve has the, has does have the weapons to push Hashana back I mean look at where Hashana was playing you can't even see him on screen that's how far back he was and Steve just needs to carry on and not make those unforced errors he, he was he's been dictating this game so far absolutely that's more like it first ace for Steven That's almost a dismissive backhand, isn't it, from Hashana? So easy. You wouldn't think that he's under pressure when he hit that. Look at this double, this single handed backhand. Really nice. Look at that. Look at how long he holds his shoulders down before he strikes the ball. That's a really nice technique right there. I think I think one thing that Steve Steve will take away from all his matches and especially from yesterday and today against much more accomplished opponents is to really reduce that unforced error rate. I think when they get into a rally, I think if you look at the stats, he's usually made the first unforced error. I think he needs to really cut down on those. Good authoritative play and that's what he needs to do. He needs to take the game to Hashana and that's what he's doing. And you can tell that Hashana is struggling a little bit when the ball comes deep. Well played, Steve. It's going to be annoyed that he didn't make that hit a whole court to himself. Bit of misjudgment. It, it looks like he misjudged that a little bit. I think this is the first time I see Hashana breathing a little bit hard during the match. Good serve. Big booming serve. Well done, Larry Steven, but he got away with that. Wasn't a good volley. He's very, very lucky with this one. That drop shot wasn't well executed. Read this one well, though. Good hands to keep it in. But he needs to make those really count. He needs to make those approach shots count better than the last one. Fantastic serve. 2-4.
And I think it's good to see. I mean, he's still in it. It's a, a, a lot of players were faded out. I mean, we ex we didn't expect it, but you know, a lot of players would have faded out, Shazad. And he's in it. He's in it to fight all the way to the end. I think that's great. And I think that gives Hashana something else to think about. You know, that he's not going to just go in and walk away with the match. Stark reality is he has to get a break. He needs a break. So this is pretty much now or never for him. And he's not had a break point at all. Nope. Not even close. That's what I'm talking about. He needs to make those on the second serve because Hashana's first serve is close to impossible today it's the, the kind of pace that he puts on it he needs to make those second serves I was trying to win 76 76 percent of his points when the first serve goes in but then again he was 91 percent of second serve points and so many of them have come off because of Steve's unforced errors That's just pure pace. I mean, honestly, that's just pure pace. We're sitting at the court side, and look at how fast that ball zips through the court. And this is a slow court, mind you. And the amount of pace that Hashana can put on that forehand is quite phenomenal. When he's in full flow like that, Hashana, very hard to stop him. That's scary, isn't it? How fast, how well he executes that forehand. Just look at the replay on this. Look at how fast he accelerates through the ball. It's no chance, not playable. So what this means now, of course, is Steve Ng has to serve out to stay in this match. Not something he's been able to do very often, but he did it in his last service game. You can take some comfort from that. But it's an uphill struggle because he's got to win that and then try to break Hashana. I think Steve has played a pretty solid game today. I mean, he's going out there and he's trying. He's trying to do whatever he can. Um, and I don't really have any other way to say it, but Hashana has gone out all guns blazing. And he's made his point. He's made his presence felt on court today. I mean, if you, if you look at some of these shots, some of these replays, some of these forehands that he's hitting, some of these serves that he's, that he's serving, so much authority, and there's really not much Steve can do. Um, but I think Steve has put in a pretty good performance today by, 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 all, by all accounts. And it's just up against a much better opponent.
that's exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, look at a passing shot. That wasn't even meant to be a passing shot, and he he just strides across. It's really good hands. It's really good technique. I think today Hashana is just playing out of his mind. That's better from Steve Ong. Really good serve. Nice slide out wide. Good variation on the serve by Steve. Second ace, or third ace rather, of this match. You're looking good at the moment, Steve Ung, but now is where it comes becomes very, very difficult. He's got to break Hashana here. And imagine if he breaks surf, Shazad, that's going to be really interesting to watch. I mean, Hashana has got the whole match going for him. And if he can break surf now, you and I are in for a really, really good match. Actually, there's just a little bit of pressure here. A little bit of pressure on Hashana. Maybe for the first time in this entire match. Let's see what happens this first point. If he doesn't get his first serve in, could be interesting. Sometimes you need a little bit of that because it was there for the taking for Hashana. That was brave though, that was brave. I got to give credit to Steve. I mean, he saw an opportunity and he took it and that's what he needs to do. He needs to go out there swinging and you can tell Hashana wasn't, wasn't comfortable. He really wasn't comfortable. I mean, on a few occasions, Hashana thought that he had the point and when Steve went out there swinging, he wasn't comfortable. Oh, what a time for a double fault. A bit of, a bit of pressure maybe. Is there a glimmer of hope here now? No. Oh, it's been overruled. We'll have that again. Second serve.
wasn't given. Steve thought he might have just made it in. And we have a couple of set points, match points rather. Did well to get there. Just a little bit long. I just can't help but think if that overrule did not come, things might have been a little bit different. It's a wild first serve. Ashana Godamana wins that well. Beats Steve Ng 6 2, 6 3. And it sets us up wonderfully for that final match, that final rubber, the doubles. That was a really good match by Hashana. I mean, he went there all guns blazing, managed to hold his form for a full two sets. Not easy. I mean, he went out there and he was hitting with vengeance. I mean, some of those winners that he hit off a court like that, unplayable. And I think full credit to him. He did really well. And, and, and credit to, to Steve as well. He went out there, he tried his best, he dug deep. I think we showed a glimpse of what he's really capable of and he played really, really well. But he's just up. He was just up against someone who was who was playing out of his mind today. Yep. Uh, credit to both uh, players there. Uh, congratulations to Hashana Godamana. And now we look forward to that deciding third rubber. The first time that has happened here on Centre Court, where it will come down to the doubles match. That will happen in about a half an hour from now. We'll see you then. <laughs>